Hello, 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 and welcome to episode 330 of Prog Review. And today, if you haven't read the title or description, I'm talking about an album that oh, I've, I've got an awful lot of love for, and a band I've got an awful lot of love for, and I'm surprised it's taken me 330 prog reviews to do anything about them. I think I haven't, I don't think I've done anything about them in the past. But anyway, the band in question is Tortoise, and the album I'm going to be talking about is TNT. Now this was released back in 1998, March time I think it was. Um, and it was my first experience of Tortoise as a band. Um, back in back in back in those days, we didn't we didn't really well we had the internet, but there wasn't it wasn't as organised as it is now, and um, I was still for my sins still reading the music press. So I, was, I think I read um, I think it might have been Q magazine. They recommended this album, and um, at that time I was holding down a proper job, proper full time job like you do, and um, where I was working at Waterloo, uh, Lower Marsh. Uh, that's the, the road I was working on. Um, I used to go through Waterloo and there used to be uh, an hour price. So on a Monday morning, I'd bowl into our price and look at what's coming out and buy a record. Just to have a habit, you know, just to buy a couple of CDs or whatever. Listen to them whilst I was working. There used to be a man in the, on the stall down outside the Abbey National, I think it was. He used to sell CDs too. I used to get CDs from him as well. Uh, but that's beside the point. But anyway, I was in there this this morning, 1998 in March, 1988, uh, 1998, and um, I saw the TNT album, and I thought, oh, I, was, I, I remember reading the review. It looked curious. Picked it up, took it back to the office, listened to it, and I was instantly hooked. Um, I mean, I call this this is what I call this progressive music in the in the in the proper sense of the word. This is proper progressive rock. Though I'm sure, um, I'm sure that Taurus probably wouldn't class themselves as that. They fall under a lot of umbrellas: post rock, experimental rock, jazz, jazz fusion, electronica, minimalist, minimalism, ambient. You name it. They can be under all of these. Titles and um, yeah, I mean, I was. Compl- I mean, I didn't know anything about them. I didn't know that they were from Chicago. I didn't know how many people in the band. I didn't. I don't even know the names of the songs on the album um, because I never bothered to read the. Well, the inlay was impossible to read if I remember. It was very tiny writing, uh, but I just got into the record. I just got so into it, and it is a real mixture from the, the opening. The opening notes of. I played on the guitar. It was something that I'd have might have played myself. You know, it was it was seen familiar, and from those opening notes to the very last bit at the end, I was in for the ride. And it's one of those unusual records that, for seventy four minutes, it actually holds my attention. Darren, you hypocrite! You hate long albums. Um, yeah, but this one. Because there's such a variety of music on there, it, there's, there's like kind of guitar, instrumental rock, there's jazz, there's like I say ambient, there's minimalism, there's electronica. You get several albums for the price of one. It is a beautiful thing, and I mean I I I say that all of you, I'm, I'm and I'm begging you, all of you got to go out and buy a copy or at least. Listen to it off YouTube or whatever it is you peasants do these days when you should really be supporting the artist. But you should really go and listen to this stuff. And then you'll come back to me and go, do you know what, Darren, you're right. This is progressive music. And um, uh, I'm not going to, I mean, I can't, I'm not going to talk about, I'm not going to do a track by track because I want you to, I want you to discover it. I want you to get the same joy from this album that I did. Um, come to it. Come to it, you know, with ignorance, ignorant bliss, you know, idiot glee. That's what you should come to. And since this album, I've been a, I've been a, well, a, a big fan. I've, I've purchased all their records, and you know, up until the last one back in two thousand and nine, beacons, beacons of ancestorship, which was a little bit, you know, 
interesting enough, but you know, it kind of ran out of steam on the on the B side. It was, but it was. It's just I think they're a really interesting band, and there was also they spun off other bands, C and the Cake, um, uh, Isotope Two One Seven. They're a bit of a, yeah, uh, Poster Children, uh, Zwan, guitarist on TNT went on to be in Zwan with uh, Old Billy Corgan. That's a good album. Um, but yeah, that's for another time. Um, so yeah, I mean, do go out there and and check them out. It, it does get jazzy in places. It does get jazzy, but hey, what what can we do? What can we do about the jazz? Sometimes you can't ignore the jazz. This is the thing. Um, so yeah, so that's it really. So yeah, I'm gonna. I'm, I mean, I'm just gonna give this. I'm, I mean, I'm. I'm See the funny thing is, I got this on LP recently, well, a couple of years back, and now I can actually read what 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 it says because they made the writing nice and big. Um, should we have a look at the LP? Yeah, yeah, that 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 will spend us some time. This was the twentieth. This isn't the original because I got the CD back in the day. That's when that was when vinyl was unfashionable. But this is a twentieth uh, anniversary release because they're on Thrill Jockey Records, see, and um, Thrill Jockey were. Uh, Celebrating their twentieth anniversary, so I believe, and um, and so they reissued all the records, and this is a double as well. Look at that! Oh, get all that in. I hope you notice. I've, I've recorded this in sixty frames a second today, because everybody seems to be doing it. You know, so to give you a bit more of a a live look, see see my my. Beautiful, beautiful face in even more detail. I'm not doing it at 1080p. I can only do it at 720p on this camera. So we'll see how the old 60 frames a second looks, and and, and that's that. Oh, but yeah, this is a this is a great record. It sounds it does it sounds even sounds great on um, on uh, on LP. Two. Oh boy, it takes me back. This this is it. It's these, it's these albums, and when you listen to them, they are they're quite transportative. They do send you back, and you think, my God, where has the time gone? Um, but yeah, Taurus. If you never if you've never come across them, please check them out. They're not going to be for everyone. For all you people who like, I know, prog noodling, you ain't going to like it. But if you like intelligent, smart really interesting the rhythmically diverse music because these guys have had three drummers you know three drummers they've played with through i can't imagine a band who'd want to play with three drummers but tortoise they've had three drummers and they also use a multitude of percussion as well um so i really i really like them uh, i can't tell you that i'm, I'm gonna tell, I can't tell you enough how much i like them so um so yeah, that's it. So in terms of a rating, I mean, it's, it's an easy one. He said, "Oh no, oh." oh. In terms of a rating, um, what shall I give it? I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it five jetties out of five. That's five jetties out of five. Oh yeah, it's it's a five out of five. It's because it's a, it is a truly um, fantastic record, um, and again, do do go out there and check it out. Do check them out. Uh, not for everyone, but hopefully it'll you help you understand where I'm coming from when I talk about modern. I mean, it's not modern now, but at the time it was modern progressive music. Um, you know, the the real progressive music out there is you know you have to search out. It doesn't actually have the label of progressive rock, but this is you know forward looking um, so that's it my name is Darren Locke remember we've got the social media so you can follow me on, on the twit face you can like I say you can tickle me twitter sit on me facebook and you can do what you like with google plus because I don't know what it does um, there's the old music I'm going to push the music again music.darrenlock.com go there for all your Darren Locke music needs I can hear you all stampeding off and of course, there is the Patreon. Give us all your money. Give us all your money.
but no, if you do, I do the donations are gratefully received, and they do help me. Well, feed feed my children. <laughs> Three hundred pound car repair bill for an alternator this this month. It's it's terrible. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't even drive. Um, but yeah, so go head over to Patreon. I really do need. I really do need your money. Um, I'll just have to sell another guitar, won't I? Uh, so that's it. Oh, the Patreon. W. I've nearly forgot. I'm a really bad salesman. www.patreon.com slash lock. www.patreon.com slash lock. Oh, I, I, all these other people on the YouTube, they do a much better job of it. Oh, no. oh email. Hey. And with that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop there. Hopefully, like I said, please check out this album because it's an album that is very, very dear to me. It's a band that's I think uh, I think are great, and um, hopefully you'll share my vision. And again, check it out and uh, leave a, a comment in the in the old box below. Yeah. So that's it. Only one more thing to say. Are you ready? Are you really ready? Go on. Are you ready? You're going to tense up for this. Are you tensing up? Go on, relax, relax into it. Ready? Deep breath. Prog on. <laughs>